Hi, my name is Robin Bremer, and you're watching Walks with God. And today I'm going to share about uh, praying the Lord's Prayer with power, um, not as a ritual uh, or a formula, but a general outline and a guideline on how to how to pray using the Lord's Prayer as a guide. If you look up here, <clears throat> excuse me, the first thing the Lord's Prayer says is He addresses Jesus addresses God as our Father. He doesn't say my Father or your father, but he says our father, so he's our brother, and our father provides for us out of the heavenly kingdom. First John um, 3, 1 says that we're uh, created in his image. John, um, I mean, uh, Romans eight twenty nine says, you know, it talks about we're family, we come boldly to the throne to get our needs met, uh, Hebrews four sixteen and Luke eleven thirteen, and because he's our father, um, we also want to be aware that our job is to pray for our brothers and sisters in Christ, not just for ourselves and our, and our own needs. Now, who is in heaven? Now, you need to look at our Father from the perspective of heaven, not from earth. Our Father who is in heaven supplies all our needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus, not according to our resources or our lack. 2 Corinthians 8, 9 and 9, 8. So when we come to pray to our Father, we got to realize that He supplies all our needs. He takes care of all of us, and He's in heaven, and He supplies what we need in heaven as heaven's resources. Um, um, Hallowed be, be Thy name, or honor name, or Your name is holy. Um, everything about God is about His name. He gave Jesus the name above all names, um, and at the name of Jesus, we get saved. Through the because of Jesus, we get saved. So the name is really important. And we're to use the name of Jesus to get whatever we need to do or perform or uh, do on earth. It's through the name of Jesus, not anyone else but Jesus. And Philippians 2.10 talks about um, uh, um, destroying, I don't know what it talks about, but Philippians 2.10 is a reference to that. Um, and and uh, that every knee shall bow to the name. And your kingdom come. Which is really important. Jesus preached the kingdom. Everything he did, he did as a representative of the kingdom, showing us people, man, human beings, how uh, through this example we act just like him. And it's all about the kingdom, which is the Holy Spirit bringing God's authority, dominion, and rule on earth through us as children. Psalms 8, 4, and 6 talks about that. And the kingdom of God is in you, it's in power. And that's Luke 17, 21, and 10, 7, and 8. And because the kingdom is in you, you can change the world. And the goal is for, uh, the reason for the kingdom is that your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. In heaven, God rules. God's government is the kingdom. It's the kingdom of love, peace, righteousness, and joy in the Holy Spirit. That's what heaven is all about. That's what the kingdom is all about. And God wants us to pray his will on earth as it is in heaven. And that's righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit and love. I have to think of it this way. When you, you know you're praying right when you pray like it's in heaven. Is it sickness, disease, fear, crime, poverty, destroying weather in heaven? No. And you are to seek the kingdom of God. That's God's power in you and his way. And change these things. So when there's destroying tornadoes, hurricanes, earthquakes, volcanoes, you are to take authority because you're in God's kingdom and the power is in you to change these things, to make it on earth like it is in heaven. Um, that is your standard. If, if something's not in heaven, don't allow it in your life and those people around you. You are an ambassador for Christ to bring the kingdom, to bring God's will on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Well, you can look at this two ways. Matthew 6.33 talks about seeking first the kingdom, and he supplies all you need spiritually and physically. And John 10.10 says that Jesus came to give us abundant life. The thief came to kill, steal, and destroy. And the other way to look at it is when we take communion, it's taking our daily bread. It's taking uh, in Jesus, and the word says that it will give you strength and power uh, through his blood and his body. And uh, forgive us as we forgive our debtors. Okay, now Jesus came just for all our sins and he's our example so we have to forgive other people for things that they do against us and he also says that when you forgive others god can uh, forgive you 
or put it this way, when you forgive others, it, it doesn't open the door for the devil to kill, steal, and destroy and hold back what's rightfully yours. And God forgave you, so you need to forgive others. Jesus was the one sacrifice for us once and for all. He took away all our sins, past, present, and future. He forgave us for our sins. Okay? And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Um, James 1.13 says God doesn't tempt, and that he sent Jesus to uh, deliver us from evil, uh, from sin. So um, he's, he's saying, he's not saying that God would lead us into temptation, but he's saying because of, of what Jesus is about to do, that he delivers us from this present evil age and from evil through being in Christ. Because in the world we'll have tribulations. Not, even though we're on the earth, we're not in the earth. We're not of the earth. We're of heaven. We're in Christ Jesus. And 2 Peter 2, 9 and Galatians 1, 14 and 1 Peter 5, 8 and 9 talks about you resist the devil and he'll flee in you. It doesn't say ask Jesus to tell him to go. It doesn't say... Uh, uh, pray that he'll go. It says, you resist him. You take authority over him. For yours is the kingdom, power, and glory. All this is done through the kingdom, the power, and the glory of God. Praying is an act of dominion. Hebrews 1, 3 talks about uh, the kingdom of God is in you and power to change the earth, heaven on earth. And praying is an act of dominion. It's something that we're to do to uh, bring heaven on earth and God's will on earth. So my name is Robin Bream. You can get uh, a copy of this. You can make copies and teach on it or share on it um, through my website. This is what it looks like. Uh, no changes can be made to it. Um, and through uh, my website, which is ribbonstheclown.com, right here, www.ribbonstheclown.com. Uh, and you can download some free teaching materials. So my name is Robin Bremer. You're watching Walks with God. And uh, that's my video for today. I hope it helps you to pray and have supernatural experiences of God in your life.